Okay, that took me way longer than I was expecting to get this set up with my new mic and everything. I feel like a real tech girly right now. I'm doing a favorites today. I haven't done a favorites in quite some time. Here we are. I don't think I'm gonna do any sort of fashion things because I think I'm gonna bring back my most worn videos, which I used to do a little while ago of wearing or like styling my most worn outfits from that month. So. I'm gonna save all the fashion-y bits for then, but let's get into my favorites. So first is my Hotel Ceramics mug. I am obsessed with this. I think if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen that I use it a lot. I mean, even on here. Uh, I currently have some lemon water in here and I love it. It's a perfect mug in every way. Sarah, who is the creator of Hotel Ceramics, makes such beautiful pieces. She, used such as, she uses such beautiful colors. And this is a collaboration that she did with a local floral slash um, like lifestyle store in Victoria called Rook and Rose, who I've worked with before, but they did a little collab. And so this is something I've been loving. All my other mugs are kind of sad because I've been using this one mostly. So first favorite. And then I kind of spiraled into thinking about all of my favorite sort of coffee related items. So next is my favorite new way to make coffee. If you saw my last vlog, you saw that I have been going caffeine free, so decaf beans only, baby, but I think the Chemex is the best way to make coffee. I don't know. I just, I've tried so many different coffee makers and this one truly is my favorite. I feel like the process is really relaxing and I really loved having this as part of my routine. I got this as a Christmas gift and I love it. If you don't have a Chemex, I would, I would try it out. I think people are kind of skeptical of Chemex, but I think they're a really good option, especially if you're not making like a ton of coffee every day. I think it's perfect. I can make exactly one cup, which I love, and it just tastes good. Overall, good, good coffee. Best coffee, in my opinion. Also on the coffee train <laughs> is this wooden spoon herbal coffee, and it's chicory and maca. And I will first by start out by saying that this is not a coffee replacement. It doesn't taste like coffee to me. It obviously has no caffeine. And uh, it's kind of just like a nice warm drink to start your morning if you are trying to go caffeine free or you just don't like coffee. It's, a, it's really rich. Uh, it kind of reminds me of, I don't know, some sort of mushroom coffee that like gold or something does. I think they probably do one too. It's like cinnamon e. it's just warm and it's delicious. And I feel like because I'm trying to go caffeine free, it's nice to have an option for the morning. It's also super easy to make. It's just powder and you just whisk it up with some hot water and then add whatever kind of milk you'd like. And yeah, I've been really loving this. Okay, next is my one true love. And this is something that I have been loving for about six months now. When I was in Toronto over the summertime, we were doing all these like little short day trips with my aunt and uncle, my dad and my grandma. Um, was my grandma there? Yeah, she was. And I always sat in the very back of this. We had this like suburban, which was one of um, my uncle's daughter's car. Anyway, I was always sitting in the very back because I'm the youngest and I'm like, I can take the, the shit seat because you know. But I always was getting like really car sick and I was like kind of too embarrassed to talk about it. But my aunt kept giving me these ginger chews. And ever since then, I realized that I can't live without ginger chews anymore. I eat them every day. I've decided that there are two groups of people out there, people who get motion sickness and people who do not. And if you are someone who is in that category of people who get motion sickness very easily or just are an overall someone who gets nauseated very easily, I highly recommend always having these with you. I have mine in the mango flavor, the regular flavor are good, most of the flavors are good. It obviously is like a lot of sugar, but anything to help me feel better every day, I am with, and these have been a lifesaver. I am addicted to them. Like truly, truly addicted. It's on the same vein as like taking a gravel or something like that, but they're all natural and they taste delicious and it's just nice to have something to chew on. So, would go by if you are in that category of people. Okay, next I wanna talk about some beauty items. I only have four items. 
I cycle through products really quickly because I obviously get sent a lot of PR and so sometimes it's really hard for me to like actually have a favorite because I'm not repurchasing products that often. Like if I finish something, I will typically go on to something else, but these are products that I 100% will have to repurchase, which is extremely unfortunate because they're all very expensive, but I wanted to talk about them anyways. The first one is a toner, and this one is from Isla Beauty, and it's their Tone Balance Elixir. As you can see, I am almost out of this one. This is by far the best toner I've ever used in my life. I have no idea what they put in this sucker, but it just makes my skin feel so hydrated, so glowy, so dewy as soon as I put it on. It's like instant. In awe of this product, I really need to get my hands on more of it. I wish they would start selling it at Sephora, but anyways. It's an Australian company, so I'm sure it'll cost me an arm and a leg to get it sent here, but this is definitely top 10. We'll probably continue to repurchase for as long as they make it. Now I have not one, not two, but three Tata Harper products. I have never purchased any of their products. I've been sent these and now it is an unfortunate tale because I will have to purchase them because they're so amazing. The first one is the Reparative Moisturizer. This is one of the best daytime moisturizers I've ever used in my life. It smells amazing. It smells very similar to Aesop's Geranium Leaf if you've ever used that body cream. It's lightweight but still super hydrating and I... I'm a sucker. I, I have to have it now. I'm about halfway done. I feel like that's a pretty good time frame to be a good judge of a product. My skin just feels amazing when I use it. She really knows what she's doing, this girl. Next, Tata Harbor product is something that I really didn't expect to love. I feel like these sorts of products are really gimmicky to me and don't really add any sort of value to my skincare routine. However, this one is something that I will be repurchasing. I love it so much. This is the Hydrating Floral Essence, and I spray this on my skin every time after I do my toner, after I cleanse and everything, and this is so incredible. Again, I feel like if you have dry skin, this is a really nice step. Any sort of like mist with hyaluronic acid is great. I would suppose this is similar to using a hyaluronic acid serum, which I also use, so maybe them in conjunction with each other is what's making me feel like this is really helping. However, I love this. It's so refreshing. I'm going to cry when it's done because I think it's about $100 Canadian, but I need it in my life and I love it and it's a favorite. I, I don't know what else to tell you. Okay, last Tata Harper favorite. If you have seen me get ready anytime recently, I think I've done a couple short clips on YouTube and then on TikTok, you've seen me use this blush. Uh, not this exact color, but this product and this is the Tata Harper cream blush. A lot of people are asking me where I got it and I got it in PR and I am having troubles finding it online now so I'm not sure if they still make them or if they've just done a little bit of a hiatus but I have been obsessed with this especially this color. This one is called Spicy. I'm wearing it right now. It's really lightweight. I use a little stippling brush. I guess it's meant to be for foundation, but I use that to kind of blend it out. I do a little bit on my nose and then on my cheeks. So natural looking. I used to be a really, I used to hate, hate, hate cream blush, but this one and this whole line of them, like they've sent me a couple colors, I've been really loving and I definitely am a cream blush convert now. And I would argue that you could find something very similar to this. It doesn't need to be this brand, but I have really been liking this formula, color, yada, yada. It's not sticky. It just overall feels good. So that has been a favorite of mine recently. Okay, next I want to talk about a couple content creators that I've been really enjoying consuming their content recently. All of them have been on TikTok. I have been consuming TikToks like it's my day job and... I have been loving these people. So the first person is Atia Walcott. She is from LA, I think, and she just does fashion content. She is incredibly fashionable, as she always says, and she just has amazing style and also just incredible artistic vision. Like the way that she creates all these TikToks, they're all masterpieces, which I think is really cool nowadays that people are turning this platform into something that can be way bigger than what it's meant to be and I really love that and she executes it really really well so I definitely would check her out 
Next, I have Philip Boers. He creates like lifestyle and fashion content, but like at the end of every week, he'll like sit down and go through screenshots of things that he finds inspiring and like style choices that he likes and that sort of thing. And I really love that. And I love seeing how, where people get ideas to style things or what they're into. So really been liking him and they also just has great style and then the next one um is not fashion or style related and that is someone named margot and she is a music like an audiophile she's so makes so many incredible playlists i follow her on spotify now too and listen to her playlists all the time she basically just talks about her favorite music music for certain you know feelings or moods and just like opens up this the whole world to me that I've never even really dived into. Like I thought I had a pretty eccentric, knowledgeable music taste, but uh, she truly like is so knowledgeable about so many different artists and so many different types of music and all of that. And I just could watch her for hours and hours and hours talk about these things. So I definitely would check her out, especially if you're someone who's into music and into learning about new music and different styles and, and all that jazz, full pun intended. And then the last TikToker, TikToker that I've been loving, which I think is kind of a little bit of a surprise only because I've never really vocalized too much on here that I like enjoy cinema. And I truly am not someone who I would say is in the category of people who are like movie fanatics because I honestly don't think I've seen a new movie in the past two years. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been having a serious um, like anxiety towards learning to love something new that's not something that I already love, like a comfort film. I'm hoping to process through this soon because I would love to watch a new movie soon, but it's Cinema Joe. He does kind of like rankings of his favorite movies of different categories and just, again, is super knowledgeable about all aspects of movie, like production and cinematography and sound and editing and all of the stuff that goes along with movies. And he just talks about it in a really intelligible and like easy to understand way and it makes me excited about movies so I really like him too so those are some creators that I think you should check out if you haven't already that I've been really enjoying consuming their content and then last but not least oh was this enough stuff I don't know I haven't done one of these in so long I apologize is music I wanted to share some music that I've been listening to a lot recently if you want to hear like an overall sort of gist of what I've been listening to my spring motherfucking thing playlist and my winter playlist are kind of what I've been listening to the most recently and that's where you'll find these songs like in those playlists but I've also been listening to I'm new here or I guess it's we're new here we're new here uh by Jamie XX and Jill Scott Heron oh my god my battery is gonna die phenomenal phenomenal album 2011 I felt was such a great year for music definitely a year in my life that I felt was really when I blossomed into my music taste and what I liked and I was so that was a key part of it and I definitely would listen to that I'm gonna get an email next is three songs the first one is the cure by Jadu Heart or Jadu Heart I always don't know how to pronounce that that one I featured in one of those playlists that I just mentioned great beat great energy great everything I love it I love that band too Next is Never Loved by Parcels. I actually got to see Parcels live a couple weeks ago with all of my friends from elementary school and it was so, so fun. And that was one song that stood out to me most at the show and now I've been listening to it more and more um, at home or in my day to day. And it obviously was a million times better live and they played this like eight minute long extreme like super like how they I, I'm, I'm assuming intended it to be played was live and building up and all these different layers to it but such a good song would definitely go listen to that if you haven't already and just explore parcels as a band if you don't know about them and then my last one is friends by levitation room this is the song that actually came up on like my radio or whatever like my playlist had finished playing and then this song came in and it was a nice little discovery because I'd never heard it before it's a great like little like very relaxed, reminds me of like Karambin sort of vibe. And I kind of love that for spring because that's sort of how I'm feeling on my day to day. That's it, my friends. My first current favorites back. We're gonna get into Discover Weeklies. I'm really excited. I hope the mic turns out well. I hope I didn't fuck this up. <laughs> but I really appreciate y'all being here. Please let me know what your current favorites are. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye.